Uh, greetings, fellow test subjects. Test subject 1337 here, at your service. Uh, sorry. Sorry about this, but, uh, due to our recent, uh, hostile takeover of, a uh, of, a pi of the pirate nature, uh, we've had to beef up security a bit around here. Uh, we've had to employ, uh, various tools and other items to protect ourselves. Though, we've made sure not to ruin any of our equipment. <laughs> Also, we've uh, upped uh, the, the security uh, droids around here, left and right. Okay, um... <coughs> Sorry, thought I saw a shadow there that had skull and crossbones on it. Okay. Um, let me just power this down. <sighs> Alright. So, recently, the PlayStation 4 was released. And we here at Aperture Games, we like to stay on the cutting edge and trends of technology. Now, it is known that the PlayStation 4 sold 1 million units in 24 hours. And of course, within that time, everyone and their grandma logged onto the network to get their system updated and registered. Uh, we here at Aperture Labs felt it was our responsibility to wait a few days for the systems to be less, um, less assaulted by everyone logging on. So, consider it for your... Uh, Considered for your viewing improvement, the unboxing and setup of the of the PlayStation 4, provided by Sony. Interesting fact, we contacted the Sony, uh, Sony company and we asked a question. We have heard that if you have a PlayStation 3 game, certain select titles, uh, you can then uh, install it with a code and have it be upgraded to a PlayStation 4 version of the disc, so you get better graphics and everything. Now, A, this program doesn't officially kick in until sometime around mid-December. B, um, the, the, from the, the redeemable voucher code that we found inside our system, it says that it's, it's good until January 31st of next year, so you, have, so you have about a month and a half to think about it. And we highly recommend you do think about it because once you convert your PlayStation 3 disc to a PlayStation 4 playable disc, According to the according to the people at Sony, you cannot put it back into the PS3 disc. It will not be playable on there again. We will be running some tests here at the Aperture Labs just to make sure about that. So until then, if you have the PS3 game and you're thinking about updating it to the PS4 version, do not do it just yet. Because you, if you don't have the system, and if you're still trying to get achievements and stuff unlocked for the PS3, do not change the system yet. And now, the unboxing and inst inst installation of the PlayStation 4. Thank you for your time, and have a nice day. We hope you enjoyed this presentation of the unboxing and setup of the PlayStation 4. Um, best of luck to the Sony uh, servers for setting up all the, uh, for taking all the setups. And also, if you have just got a PlayStation 4, if you are not a member of PlayStation Plus, there is a voucher code inside this, that comes with the system, which will give you a 30-day trial membership. And if you and for if you want to convert your games from PS3 to PS4, it'll cost you ten dollars. They've thought of that also. They've also included a voucher to give you a, a ten dollars credit towards your uh, wallet uh, just for getting the PlayStation 4. Both uh, and you also get a music voucher. All three of these vouchers are valid until March of 2014. End of March, yeah. So so check it out. Thank you for watching, and thank you for watching Aperture Gaming. Sorry we were gone for so long. Alright, my fellow test subjects. Check it out. The PlayStation 4 in all its majesty. And here is the official Aperture Gaming unboxing. We're having one of our unpaid interns uh, do this. See, it has a nice case that the console comes in. Check it out in all its majesty. All right, we will now get it out of the box and then show you what it looks like. 
All right, welcome to part two of the unboxing and setting up of the PS4. The system included a headset, um, a charger cable for your controller. If you don't want the wireless thing, here's the controller. Behold, the system itself. Now, I have plugged it in when the power cord came out. Now, instead of the uh, red, white, and yellow three-prong system, uh, this comes with an HMD... Uh, HDMI uh, cable, so make sure your TV is compatible for that before you get one. And it doesn't have any internet cable, that's sold separately, so I have one of my own from the PS3, so I'll be using that also. Stay tuned for another part of this demonstration and unboxing and setup of the PS4. Okay, here we are with part three of the unboxing and installation setup of the PS4. The, the controller is plugged in and charging up. Behold, the PS4. I'm now just going through the instructions, so wish me luck. As you can see on the screen, it is asking me to connect the PlayStation camera. I do not own one at this time. Hopefully, I will save up my money and be able to buy one later on. But for now, if you do not have a camera, just skip this step and proceed it with the setup. As was made note, the PlayStation 4 needs a system up, uh, software update before it can do much of the other stuff, so once you get it, make sure to go to the system updates. More as we progress. For all you tech savvy people here, here are the system specifications for the PS4. If you excuse me, my system is ready. Please excuse me. Well, folks, even though it's been four or five days after the uh, after the system has been released, the PlayStation Network is still suffering an overload of error from everyone and their grandma trying to log on. So yeah, I got this error code. I'm gonna just keep fiddling with the system and seeing what I can and I cannot do, so I'll be back later. Wish me luck. All right, as you can see, there was an orange light on. Currently, my system is in standby mode and my uh, controller is charging. I've shut off the television. Now, included with the PlayStation came this uh, booklet. Special free offers for PlayStation gamers. I ain't gonna show you uh, the codes because uh, then I'd lose them. But anyway, um, I could get a 30-day free trial for PlayStation Plus, $10 credit towards uh, my PlayStation Network account, and a, th and a trial for the music function. It's pretty cool, and I was able to link up my old, uh, when I established uh, my account on PlayStation 3, I was able to link up to that, so pretty awesome. Also, the uh, headset that came with the system, it actually also has a little microphone function built in right there. Yeah. So yes, we now have online chat enabled. Very bare minimum, but still pretty awesome. And I will continue to use my PS3. Uh, the PS4 I've seen, it has a 500 gig, gigabyte uh, uh, memory or storage space. So this is going to be pretty awesome. So yeah. That, now I'm going to have to find a game that's a PS4 compatible, either rental or something, and uh, give it a shot, see how this works out. But so far, with the overall setup and unboxing, this is a very good system. I give it a... And the setup was pretty easy, so I give it a... Uh, I give it a uh, 10 out of 10 so far.